let's get into the new Instagram blueprint. And I'll go into what I see most people doing wrong and what I did wrong myself for a long time. Most people hammer reels, but they are shit at them and they keep doing what doesn't work. So nearly every mediocre or shit, uh, like business coach, Forex guy, fitness coach, anyone who starts on the scene, myself included, does the talking on the camera advice reels that everybody's seen a million times. Now you may notice the only talking about advice reels that pop are ones that have a very special or new insight or they're a celebrity. They already have something to push that. Celebrities can say shit that me and you could say and it will just blow up because the celebrity said it. That's the power of having that following already. So when it comes, and most people then copy the reels of just a celebrity talking and expect it to blow up. But that, they were never getting it blow up because of what they said, it's because of who they are. So most people will just do these shit reels where they're sitting down or just t trying to teach people stuff day in, day out, and nobody's watching them. And rather than just change the angle, they just keep doing the same thing over and over again. So we're not gonna do that anymore. That's not what new elite guys do. We don't fucking do that lame stuff. That's for lames, and it's for guys that make zero money through Instagram, not through brand masters. So each reel, I want you to think of it as a scratch card. Hopefully you've all played scratch cards or at least know what they are, but you scratch them off and then you have a chance at winning money inside. The equivalent is your reel is a scratch card, but your chance of winning is it going viral with a message and a call to action that, you, that benefits your brand or building your profile. If you do the same stuff over and over again that is not working, it's like trying to scratch the same scratch card again when it's already been scratched. You're still not gonna win. It's got nothing under there. Trying something new and a new style is a new scratch card. So the more scratch cards, the more new styles, the more you can experiment and test in terms of virality, the more chance you have of hitting that scratch card that's gonna win. Once you find what wins, you double down, triple down, and you ride it. You ride the wave until it stops working. I've not, I'll, I'll admit, I've not been great at this. Our strategy now is going to fucking murder this for, for blowing us up on Insta, but it's taken a while for me to realize it as well. This is what the big guys are doing. This is what fucking the Logan Pauls and KSI's of the world are doing. They're finding the viral moments, they're riding them all the way to the top, and then they're fucking jumping off, and they're, they're testing, 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 finding their next trend, bang. And that's why they stay relevant. That's why they stay in the limelight, and that's why they earn the fucking huge money that's to be offered in this game. So now, the new plan for us guys is we're gonna work on not only output, but quality as well, so quality as in testing, not doing the same things if they're not working. If you've done 20 reels so far of, of you talking about your thing and nobody's, and nobody's watching it, you're not getting a big uptick, so you're not getting new exposure, the market is telling you it doesn't, doesn't like what you're doing. You change the angle and you use creativity. The problem with most people on Instagram is they're not creators. They don't think of themselves as creators. They think of themselves, I'm a business person, but I need to do this because everyone else is doing it. You have to get into the mind of a creator. Most people are trying to be a creator without fucking creating anything. The point of being a creator is putting your essence, your ideas and imagination into new ways of telling stories and influencing people and inspiring people. So there needs to be some creativity there. This is not a, a robot making, just fucking bulk them and they're done activity. This is artwork on a daily basis. Each fucking reel needs to be a piece of art that you put together with a new experiment or a new way of doing something rather than something that everyone thinks they can just formulate and pump out. Going viral. Reason why it's so important. Most guys, and if you're, if you're trying to sell anything online here, you'll understand this is difficult. Most guys try and sell without an audience, which becomes very hard, especially if you don't have cash, because you can build an audience in two ways. You pay for your audience via ads, so you've got traffic, or you create organic traffic. A lot of guys trying to do this game without traffic. But you, traffic's so fucking fundamental. And me and Bill did a, we did a fucking, an, an, we analyzed my Instagram and we were thinking, okay, why, why, have we, why, are we not, why are we not growing how we want? Is it something in our marketing? Is it something in our sales page? What can we tweak? And we're going through it, we're going through it. We're like, oh, actually our numbers are good. Our percentage conversions are good. So what's our problem? And then we're like, look, we just fucking don't have the traffic. We haven't done the, we haven't blown up the Instagram. We haven't done the, we haven't got the traffic. We've got enough traffic to stay at the money we're doing now. If we want to do more money, we need more traffic. And we analyzed someone else, another coach who is doing fucking five, 
reels a day, five reels a day and, and a main post and 20 stories. And we analyzed his traffic numbers and we realized that if we took his traffic with the same conversion rates as ours, and so the amount of click-throughs we get per view um, and the amount of click-throughs he gets, but based on his larger traffic, if we were doing his numbers, we'd, have to, we'd be making $2 million a month, clear profit, with our current numbers, without changing anything. All we need is to blow up and have more traffic. And that's when we realize we're, we're sitting on a gold mine. Most people are. Most people can convert 2 3% on their landing page, but they don't have the traffic. So going viral is fundamentally key. And getting eyeballs on you is the number one thing to focus on. Then the money will flow, and that's when you can make everything work. So what is trending? That's, that's, the, that's the key. What do you, f you have to find something that works. And sometimes you're the creator of it. Sometimes you create the trend. And that's why I think when we split out in the next section what, what reels you should do, I think some should be total wild cards every week where you are just fucking doing something that's in your brain, like you're, you've decided this thing, you haven't seen anyone else do it. A few of them should be what worked best the week before and newer versions of it, if you had a well-performing reel before. And then the others should be from the guys that are doing the best in your space. You just look at the top 10 guys, that's what we've done. Analyze the top 10 guys in the space. In my space, I've realized everyone's just, just doing lifestyle content right now. If you have the ability, the, the main reason lifestyle content goes good is because only 1% of guys have access to a cool lifestyle. So they get all the views. And 99% of guys don't have a cool lifestyle, so they can't post that stuff. So you've naturally got the ability to blow up better. And we've got access to a cool lifestyle that we haven't really been showing well enough. So that's one of the things that we found from doing that research. But if you're in fitness, you check it out, see what's working, what's not. Jack Hogg, he found that fitness content right now is not of people doing, uh, talking on camera. Everyone's, everyone's absolutely just bored of that. Everyone's so bored of the like talking on camera coaching stuff, they'll just be straight off it. But what Jack found people are doing now is they are getting super aesthetic videos, like super aesthetic videos on amazing cameras, just of them doing their skipping with like a with a with a sound, and it's just one shot. It's nothing complicated, just simplicity, well framed shots, simplicity, quality. Another thing that's working really well in the fitness space, you've probably seen them guys waking up in the morning, making their bed, making their coffee, writing in their journal, going to the gym, going home. These beautifully put together, well filmed like day in the lives that go like quite nice and quick to a sound that pops pretty hard at the moment so you basically have a look through and you look at the top 10 guys in your space and you figure out what the hell everyone else is doing and you start testing it along with testing your own stuff and your own ideas a lot of people say to me isn't that wrong aren't you stealing people's ideas or marketing strategies and you have to I don't believe that at all I think you have to be completely ruthless in this game no one's going to reinvent the wheel you are the unique part of the content. Uh, the only thing any of us get to keep is the fact that we're the one in the content or we're the one that's made the content with our videos. The styles, the templates, the marketing strategies, all of that's fair game. So steal as much as you, as, as you can. If you see something online that you want to steal and put into your own, then steal it, take it, screenshot it, recreate it as your own thing. Because you're not copying me because you're in, the, don't use the picture of me, that, that is stealing. But if you put yourself in, into the strategy, that's not stealing. So find shit you like, seems to be working, reverse engineer how they've done it, put yourself in and I'll give you a system for doing that because most people see a reel, they want the aesthetic but they don't know how to do it. So it teach you how to actually properly recreate shit. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go back to, I'll come back to that bit on recreating reels but I'll go into this first. Okay. So yeah, this is basically what I just said. Testing, remember to see what's performed best in the past. Um, so each week I recommend at the end of the week you have a sit down and look at the uh, strategy that you've deployed. So the schedule is a minimum of one reel per day. The more you can do, the better we think at the moment, as long as the content is of quality as well. Uh, but the more you can pump out, we've seen top guys in the space, uh, Wes Watson, Grant Cardone, doing four or five reels a day and getting good views on them all. It doesn't seem that the more you put out, the less views you get. It's shown to different audiences. You don't know what's gonna tick, what's gonna take off. You don't know who's gonna share what. So you can, the more, the better. And you can just stick them in the reel section. They don't have to messy the feed, which is really nice, I think. 10 stories a day is like a minimum um, because you should just be living your life and taking stories and giving insight to your audience and I'll give you a strategy for doing this. Uh, let me just see if, if we put it in. Yeah, so I'll give you this strategy in a minute for your stories on how to do stories every day but also like a subtle call to action so you can actually convert customers. But yeah, 10 stories a day, two Q&As a week. Repeat what you say every morning. There's a lot of 
people like you should say something have a catchphrase like at the start of your video you have a little catchphrase and people go you've got the Bosch guy that goes Bosch um, basically make your little catchphrase or the thing that you say because people will start to feel comfortable with it and, and like it day in the life this is quite a nice one so people your audience should have a day that they can that they know you're showing up for so q a tuesdays and sundays they know you do that and turn up every sunday builds trust with the audience and you get to know them and answer their questions q a is super powerful day in the life every wednesday so you just take them through a full step of your day talking on camera and they know every wednesday i want to watch patrick today because it's his day in the life and i want to see what he's up to and it's always funny that's great for building up this audience of people that want to watch your stuff Every day, it should take about 20 minutes to edit your, your one reel, depending on how you're using. Video Leap is the app I would recommend for very easy to make reels. Um, using like trends and stuff, you can use the Instagram app as well. You can go onto the app and actually click, click people's trends and just put use template for the, for the trend and the sound and then put your own, own stuff in. I'm only just really learning this today. Um, so I'm just telling you guys, but a lot of you probably already know that. And that is basically your that's, your, that's your strategy when it comes to growth for Instagram. And I've gone into more about what you should do as well further on. Reels to create, lifestyle's just kicking ass right now. Anyone who's out in Thailand doing the stuff that we're doing, I know quite a few of you are, lifestyle is absolutely rinsing it at the moment. Everybody's watching lifestyle content, so as much beach and gym and jungle and quad bikes and jet skis and girls as much as you can. Structures, single clip with text, multi clips to trend in audio, clips of you speaking. It doesn't mean, yeah, that this one thing I'll come back to. It doesn't mean you can't put clips of you speaking in, just less, like once or twice a week when you've really got something good to say or a really good system or something really helpful because most people make one decent reel a week and the rest are just shit because they wanted to put something out. Create an inspiration collection on IG and save to there when you find a good reel. Go to the creator's profile and check what else they've made. Ideas don't come out of thin air. Ideas come out of reading things, they come out of being exposed to content. That is what ideas come from. So that's what you need to do, is you need to give yourself ideas. I'm gonna show you how to do that on the app. You maybe already know, but you just go to saved, go to your saved section, and then you just create a folder at the top and you give it a name. And mine's just called uh, Real, Reels Inspo. So you just stick all your reels in there. Anytime, now when you're watching reels, you're actually deciding what's going to be good for me in terms of marketing, what's going to be good for me in terms of business, rather than just watching for fun and you've got a place to save them um, and come back to them. Another content hack is girls. Getting girls in your content as much as you can. Doesn't need to be super in your face, Dambles there in style. You just need to be around chicks. Be around chicks, take pictures with chicks, get the chicks with the nice asses around. That is going to blow up content. It doesn't all need to be focused on the girl, but girls are clickbait. Everybody knows this. And Instagram is their fucking, it's their playground. Girls own Instagram. Be well aware of that. Girls fucking own Instagram. They are so good at this shit. Just by flashing themselves. You can use that same power. You can use their power for good. Get guys in with the, with the flash of, the, of flesh and then just teach them something or have a cool reel on the back of it rather than it be some OnlyFans girl. All right, building the schedule. That should say day. Um, I can't change that, but add 10 to your inspiration folder every day, that shouldn't say week. So every day you should be adding 10 reels to your inspo folder, taking one of them and breaking down the shots that, that are on that reel and recreating them. Reels at the start of the week, list 20 ideas. Try and get in a good state of mind, get positive, have a strong coffee, go for a run, have a sauna. When you're buzzed, when you're at that high vibration, sit down and think of some ideas. Some, some new ideas, some fun stuff. You're out on a walk, you're just pounding ideas with your buddies. You're like thinking what could be good, you're using some inspiration. Don't sit and make your ideas like when you're not inspired because that's not when you're gonna get that download of, of, of intelligence. If you wanna recreate somebody's Instagram and you wanna do it directly, I would recommend you do this. So let's go to Iman. And I saw Iman had a really viral and very um, aesthetic reel recently. Yeah, this one. So you guys can all see that. You can make exactly this with enough effort. All you do is you, you get a pen and paper out, you go through this video from the very beginning, 
and you go shot one. Shot one, you, t you see how many seconds it is. 1.2 seconds. Putting shoes on, sat down on the floor. Camera zooms in. That's shot one. Shot two, running, mountains in the background. One second long. Two cuts. One to close up back, one to close up front. Slow pan in. Then you've got your middle shot. Pops up on the screen, middle of the screen. Top shot, bottom, all the timings. Obviously that takes, that takes a little bit of time to do. But once you've got that written out, you can fucking replicate that perfectly. To the, and and you, that's how you get the same aesthetic as someone else. You copy it exactly with you in it and your content. And then, because most people want to make something that aesthetic and that cool, but they can't, that's how you do it. Exactly right. It's by making those shot lists, going out with your buddy or a videographer and getting that stuff filmed. I would recommend, if you're running a business and have other things, get all your filming done um, one day a week if you're trying to get some really aesthetic stuff, like good camera quality, certain shots you know you need for the week, a few different ideas you've got. And then the rest, just film um, as you're going around on your phone as much as possible, film stuff, and just film when you're doing something cool and try and do more cool things with your friends, and all of your friends should film each other all the time. So you need to be a good friend and film your buddies if they're in the content game, and your friends need to be good and film you when you're doing something cool. Because nobody wants to get their phone out in, in Dior and fucking selfie themselves buying Dior. That doesn't look cool. What looks cool is when your buddy takes the fucking hint, he gets his phone out, he quietly records, and then afterwards, now you've got such a nice, usable piece of content. That's what Bill did for me yesterday. That's what I do for Bill. That's just how we roll. And that's just something that should come up with your friends and that, that you guys speak to, to each other about. And that makes things a lot, a lot easier, I think. Another thing to say, you can add some really nice styles now just using the phone, which you guys probably saw. Just put, stick your hand up if you saw my reel that I just put out, new Elite reel. Notice how it's like a VHS. All of that was just DazCam. That was just DazCam. So you come into the app, DazCam, and you go into filming rather than pictures. And then you go into the cameras, the video cameras. You choose VHS on the cameras, and then you just go manage, manage the VHS. Oh no, let me check it. VHS, oh yeah. You go VHS and there's a little button down here that says timestamp. VHS normally has a timestamp on it. It's kind of annoying and you don't want it on every video. There's just a little button that you press that turns that on and off so you can get the effect without the timestamp. That's a really nice effect. Mix it in with, with modern footage, VHS. There's a few other effects on there. Now you're looking fucking like a professional studio straight from your phone without a videographer. A lot of this like hip shooting, casual stuff with your friends, friends over in a corner and, and, and just filming you from afar, that's a really nice, I think a really nice aesthetic people are using. You in the gym, but you're a little bit far off, you're hitting your weights, but it's VHS style, and your buddy's filming you from maybe a couple of machines back, catching you unaware, like you don't even know he's there, compared to most people are right in your face filming, that's unauthentic. You take the camera away and it's like you don't, it's like you don't know you're being filmed. You put that old style on it, and suddenly you're starting to make stuff that really looks like the, looks like the pros. And stories of your day-to-day -day life, you should be doing them and writing, giving insights to your brain. That's as much as you want to do. So if you're just taking pictures at the moment, try and add some text. I do it as well, but I'm trying to add more text, more insight. You're trying to keep people hooked. Remember, this is a show. So you need to be a little bit weird. You need to be a little bit eccentric. Say things that don't make sense sometimes. Cut your audience down the middle. Say some crazy things. People want to be entertained. So don't play it safe with the stories if you want big viewerships on there. And, and also have a light call to action every day in the stories. And I'll teach you how to do this. Because you want to market without feeling like you're marketing. You want to make somebody just have emotion and want to speak to you. And this is how I recommend you do that. First things first. So first story. You've done six for the day so far of just what you're up to, your insights, and then you hit them with this out of nowhere. It just blends into the other stories. Capture attention by describing the life they want to be living. That's the marketing angle. Imagine yourself here. Imagine if you were doing this. That's slide number one. Slide number two, explain how their current situation is worse than they think. If only you knew how little time there was left that you could, that you could leave and live this life. If only, if only you knew how little time guys have left before their freedom's taken away. Something that builds urgency 
a bit of scarcity and makes people f fearful. You've, you would have seen this marketing so much with Tate. He's, he's a master at it. Shows you the life, tells you why it's all going to get taken away unless you act right now because the matrix is closing in. Describe incredibly vaguely how your unique mechanism, you give it a name, has helped others achieve their dream life. So you say, we've helped people do this, this, and this, using our five-step system to mental alchemy, turning brain cells into gold. And that's just like some, that's just some madness that you could stick on Insta and people would be like, well, what does he mean by that? Because they're not seeing it. So you've got to think outside of the box a little bit when naming your, your method. And then have a call to action with a brief reason why they, why they should take action now. So drop me a DM, DM group because this isn't going to last long or we've only got a few spaces left or things like that. So that's your very simple turning your stories and the people that started viewing you, turning them into cash on a daily basis. It's done through different marketing angles each day. Current situation is worse than you think. Describe vaguely how you're going to fix that and have a call to action. Now this will either work or it won't work. You'll either sell or you won't sell. When you don't sell, you do something different for your marketing angle. When you do sell, you run the same marketing angle the next day, maybe in slightly different wording with a different picture, and you see if it still works. If it still works, you do it the next day. If it still works, you do it the next day. If it stops working, you switch the angle. Very simple, but never give up on an angle until it's dead. Because often you leave a great advertisement, I've done it loads of times, great advertisement, thought, wow, great day yesterday. Don't need to do anything today. Just let it rest. Oh, I need to think of some new marketing. No, Jack, you had something that worked, just fucking use it again. That's but you don't realize how much people content people are seeing, so it doesn't have to be all new. You've also got to remember you're warming up leads, so some of this stuff can take time. People need to see your stuff 20 times because you probably have it in your life where you knew about a product, you didn't buy it, you didn't buy it, you kept seeing it, you thought about it, you didn't buy 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 it, and then one day you were in pain. One day you're in pain and you thought, fuck, I need to get out of this, man. I've tried everything on my own. I've been seeing this product every day. Let me just fucking try it, man, because I'm so in pain. I need to get out of this. That's what you're aiming to do. You're aiming to be there for them every day. So on the day they are ready, you get them rather than someone else. Otherwise, you're stabbing in the dark. If you're only there once a week, your, your percentage of times that you get someone with that feeling that knows about your product well enough to buy it goes down so much. That's why you have to be in the game every day. And then you really start to pick up the sales. All right, and that is about all I've got to say on this. So I thought we could go to an IG roast session. So if you want, just fucking fire your IG in and I'll, um, and I'll, I'll roast it. I'm, I'm joking, I'm not going to roast it, but I will give you specific advice on your Instagram if you want me to have a look at it on building personal brand. I'll talk to you about your product, um, how you can market it better, in my opinion, and stuff like that. So if anyone has got a product and they want to be looked at, just fire your Instagram in and I'll start. I'll go through from the top.